had made public activities and programs for its six national key result areas, NKRAs. The NKRA program were displayed at the Government Transformation Program GDP Open Day at Sunway Convention Center on the 17th and 18th December. The GDP Open Day follows the completions of laboratories conducted from October 5th to November 13th on the 6th NKRS, namely reducing crime, fighting corruption, widening access to quality and affordable education, raising living standards of low-income households, improving infrastructure in rural areas, and improving urban public transport. The GDP Open Day is a platform for the riot to view the action plans and initiatives drawn up by the lab participants as well as to provide feedback and offer suggestions. Feedback from riot will be used to validate lab findings before implementation commence. Let's listen to the riot voice at the GDP Open Days. What happened is that this whole thing is one Malaysia. Alright? What do you mean by one Malaysia? One Malaysia means people first, performance now. Right? The six NKRAs are all one Malaysia initiatives. Now, what happened is we also have a lab on unity. Right? So in the lab on unity, we at first started off focusing only on the uh, Department of National Unity, Jabatan Perpaduan Negara. Then we started to extend because unity actually involves many aspects. Sebenarnya uh, saya nak ucapkan tanya kepada Datuk Sulaji kerana dalam di bawah kepimpinan beliau, beliau telah pun uh, membangunkan idea ini untuk transformasi dalam kerajaan untuk kebaikan rakyat yang rakyat didahulukan dan apa uh, rakyat diutamakan. Ya. Jadi uh, saya nak maklumkan ya, bahawa uh, di bawah lab, lab isi rumah pendapatan rendah Apabila telah berpulang beberapa lama, mereka berbincang dan feedback semua, jadi inilah apa sejarah ringkasnya cadangan yang diutarakan di mana kerajaan akan akan mengambil kira selepas mendapat maklum balas daripada orang ramai dan semua yang berkepentingan civil society dan semua jadi saya nak minta lah hari ini dan besok ramai-ramai lah datang sebab diberi peluang kepada rakyat untuk uh, memberi pendapat mereka suka ke tak suka ke atau mungkin ada cadangan yang lain In my opinion uh, the government started this initiative lab uh, yeah it's good you know because at least you see that uh, the government is doing something for the public now the only thing is that why now why after 50 years of independence now only you start doing the initiative the question is why now is it because of this uh, the tsunami elections that was held uh, in the uh, march of uh, 2008 then only the government is starting doing something about it which i think is a good thing also you should the government should do something about it once you started it off make sure it continue doing something good about for the public this is what i feel like if the government is doing just for a show, for the initiative of the first six months to hot up the whole thing like that, and then after that, lie down and not continue doing anything to make the life of the people in Malaysia live in a better way, I, to me it's like this kind of initiative is just a show showcase only if the government is, if the government has the intention to improve. Okay, the service, all right, the life of the people, make the people live in Malaysia in a very uh, safe way. I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing. We'll see how it goes. Sometimes I feel that government talks with no action, uh, it's just talks only. It means nothing to us. Because we are the public, we are the taxpayer. We have every right to tell the government to back up and do something about it. That's how I feel about it. Open it up to the public, tell the people, come, give your opinion. Give your suggestions. Tell the government what to do. This should be the way. But why you have to keep quiet? To me, it's like this initiative also like doing a hush hush thing. Very keep quiet way. That's how I feel. Uh, but to me, it's like again, as I say, to have it better than not doing it at all. After 50 years of independence, that's how I feel. We, all right, we will probably will observe and see what is the government going to keep on doing it or not. Then we will tell by way of our voting power. That's why we're going to tell the government.
buck up and do something about it. If not, the voting power is in our hand. We will know what to do in the next general election. That's why. Ah, the total community. I know very well. This one way it is something good. Now it has come out of it. So in 50 years we didn't see such a meeting. This, uh, I think it is very great. At least the government want to know something about the people's problem. <coughs> so that now people have a right chance to, give, to explain what are uh, what are what uh, many types of uh, problems people face. Even Bumiputras and Indians and uh, Chinese also. So these problems there is a way now. Ministers, government knows what are the problems have to deal for that. Now we can get some something good out of this meeting. Today I see uh, Malaysia that is open, a door, a, a door that is open to the people only today. God bless today, 18th December 2009, because we know our prayers will one day be heard. Because many Malaysians have prayed, really prayed, asking God, why is this country not showing justice? Why is this country not equal? Why is this country so different to other races? Chinese, Indians and Malays, we call ourselves Malaysians. If we are one Malaysia, then I think all the more we should have this kind of uh, open day a program like this uh, to bring to awareness where are our shortcomings. What have we done all, all these years? Have we uh, cultivated and uh, nurtured and cult the, what do you call, sustain our country in the right way, in the proper way? This is a time like uh, for us to sit back and reflect very carefully what we have done over the years. And uh, the feedback from the pe people, the public, will speak a lot. Not only from me, but I'm a representative of these people to speak a lot of what the country has done to the people. I think the country will have to accept whatever the people say because every word that comes from the people is out of honesty and truth and justice. We, we speak with justice, we speak with truth, we thank the government for whatever the government has done but at the same time I think a lot of areas there are things that are need to be improved need to be open, sincere, uh, we call it transparency. I do believe that uh, this program can resolve the problem, but it needs strong political will of the political masters. I see the whole situation as involving three components, political masters, the public servant, and the public. Now, the public servant should be fully accountable to the public and the uh, political masters are those that should make the policy for the government and the government services. If this is uh, this segregation of power is uh, clearly defined, I do not see any reason why this program could not work. I'll bet it will take it may take a little bit of time, but it can be done. Di segi public memang kita mengharapkan mereka membagi input kepada kami kerana mungkin apa yang kami cadang ada certain things yang tak cover lah dalam expectation mereka. So we need that kind of uh, feedback from the public. So harap mereka semua dapat datang bagi membantu kita sama-sama memperkuatkan lagi cadangan-cadangan yang telah pihak lab kemukakan kepada kerajaan. Macam mana mereka boleh bersaduakan? Okay, buat masa ni untuk uh, dua hari ni, hari ni dan besok memang untuk memberi feedback tu di sini. Dan selepas tu sekiranya terdapat lagi cadangan-cadangan uh, yang ingin dikemukakan bolehlah dihantarkan kepada Kementerian Pembangunan Wanita, Keluarga dan Masyarakat selaku kementerian yang menerajui uh, golongan yang berpendapatan rendah inilah.